Okay, I decided to make a little video of your different types of um, soil can you have in your own yard. I have what I call my side yard. It's this one. And that's about as deep as I can get the probe, so about six inches or so. And then I hit this. Those are all the stones and sand from the leaching field. And you can see the sand. And it slowly gets better. A little darker. I don't have much of a thatch layer. And then this is what I call my backyard, which has a good, you know, four inches of decent, healthy soil. And then it turns to sand. And that's basically what I got all around my house. So whatever they use to build up the property to build my house on, that's that. And then there's my front yard. I can literally stick the 30 inch probe down to the handle if I wanted to. The front yard has this nice six, eight inch layer, this nice dark earth. It's always been good. The front yard's always grown well. But then it ends on this nice red clay. And it gets pretty, pretty hard, but it's, it's, it's pretty good. So the front yard grows pretty well. I think it holds water and nutrients probably better than this or that. I'll be sending a soil sample out. And I separate the front yard from the back and the side yard. Fall of 2021, I sent two separate samples from my backyard and my side yard, and they came back pretty much identical. Only thing that was really off on my front yard was the pH and K, which I increased on the front yard, did my pH throughout the whole yard. It all had to come up. But so it's pretty vastly different. And you know, we're talking spread out over 18,000 square feet with, what, 20 feet separating the front and the back. So these are the kind of things you fight when you're trying to get your lawn in good shape. I'm going to send in the soil sample and see what comes back.